Let's see if you can do this in your head. You probably can. If you're making twenty dollars an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, right? Is that is that six figures? No. <laughs> oh. Peter Griffin moment, Matt. Can two of the figures be on the other side of the decimal point? <laughs> then oh, maybe, Jesse, like, Jesse, what's I look? I'm not good at math. I'm not. It is tough. There's so many numbers. But Jesse, Jesse, <sighs> but like when you're making a lot of money at Fox News, mm -hmm. you don't really have to do these like income calculations, right? Mm -hmm. You're good. Someone who's making $20 an hour, they're very aware that that doesn't come close to six figures, yeah. okay? No, so. not even close. Now that was during a recent appearance on the Patrick Bet David podcast where Fox anchor Jesse Waters earnestly thought that if your wages amount to $20 an hour, you could be making six figures a year. Now you probably don't need to tell us that he's way off, way, way off. In fact, the others who were on the podcast episode immediately jumped in to correct him, but Waters was not deterred. He actually continued on to make some pretty gross and classist statements about California fast food workers, that was what sparked this conversation. Their wages were recently increased to $20 an hour. And people are people on the right mostly are really upset about this, even though I don't really understand why, right? Like it just went into effect and they're acting like the world has come to an end. Could, mm -hmm. Look, there could be you some negative why. repercussions. I, I honestly haven't seen them, mm -hmm. they haven't manifested yet. So let's just hold and see, but they have to go along with their anti wage increase narrative. Yeah, 100%. And so they're jumping on it immediately. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's watch more of the conversation. By the way, I should note the minimum wage in the state of California is $16 an hour. The reason why fast food workers specifically have seen their wages increase to $20 an hour is because the unions got active and they fought for it. This is how the model works in Nordic, in Nordic countries and Scandinavian countries. They don't have a federal minimum wage in those countries. They have unions, typically trade unions, negotiate for higher wages on behalf of their workers. And so we don't really have that to the same extent here in the United States, but it did play out similar to Scandinavian countries in California. And I'm really excited to see how it plays mm -hmm. out. Look, California is an expensive state to live in. And so people need to make more money in order to pay rent. It's so expensive in California. So let's see how this plays out. I think that this is good news, not the case for Jesse Waters though. Mm -hmm. And so let's see how the rest of the conversation played out. Is that six figures? Are you making six? No, you're no, making no, 40, 40, grand. 50, 40 grand. 50 is just two exit two and out a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so. 40K a year, okay, full time. 40K a year. Yeah. So, and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making $100,000 as a family. Sure. Both working at McDonald's? 80, yes. grand. 80 grand. That is, okay, that's crazy. That is crazy because that job really doesn't require much. So it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Labor sector and, and the happy meal and the happy meal <laughs> unhappy very which, unhappy which I'm very unhappy about. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's going to make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you. Thank you. What does it require to require sit on much. a cushy set and read a teleprompter <laughs> yeah. with a script that was written on your behalf? I love that. No, 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 but seriously. No, no because look, the it's argument amazing. is fast food workers don't have any skills. And so, I mean, are they really worth that kind of money? Are you worth the kind of money you're paid, Jesse Waters? Like, yeah. you can't even calculate what the annual income is for someone who's making $20 an hour. That's no, amazing. Uh, so, their job is easy. His job obviously is hard, so swap, easy. You'll make $100,000 and you won't have to do anything because it's super easy. And they'll have this super difficult job, so they'll be burdened by that. So just swap with them, Jesse Waters. But the whole thing is amazing. Look, I do wanna give him credit for consistency. He utterly despises homeless people and he doesn't want anyone to ever make any more money than they are right now except for him. So those are two positions that he's always consistent on. But. I really think that people need to think about what was revealed in that video. Because it is one thing to just be like, oh, he got the numbers wrong. 
he's stupid or he's stupid, but also confident. All of that is true. But he is presenting himself as a person who absorbs information and comes to conclusions about important topics. Mm -hmm. He was saying $20 an hour is too much because you make too much money. How much money? 100,000. But you don't, you don't even make half that. No. So is it not too much then? Because the information you were working with was that it was twice as much as it actually is. But he didn't change his opinion at all once he was corrected. So why would you trust that this is why he opposes it? Yeah. The information he presented as evidence was irrelevant to him. It's like Matt Walsh when he was on Joe Rogan and he's like these gender surgeries are a plague because a million people are getting them. And they fact checked yeah, and it was like yeah. it's 5,000 and he's like, Whatever, it's still a plague because it's irrelevant. They don't care about the reasons they give. It's not yeah. actually evidence because it's not even evidence to them. Yeah, it, that really bothers me and it bothers me because I think that's an issue that impacts a lot of people regardless of what their political ideology is. Like they have bought into a narrative and even if they're getting hit with information or evidence that runs counter to the narrative that they've bought into, they keep believing in the narrative. And it's just mm -hmm. like, look, it is totally okay to admit, oh, turns out I was wrong. I have been presented with new information and what I thought I believed turned out to be wrong. And so now I'm going to recalibrate my beliefs. People don't typically do that and it's really, really frustrating. It sucks. It sucks big time. Okay, so he's not the only one hyperventilating about he doesn't even live in California. Like, ugh. no, he doesn't live anywhere near. California's got a lot of problems. I will admit that. Okay, increasing wages for people who want to work for a living, I don't think is one of the problems. Unfortunately for Jesse Waters, he thinks it is. He's not the only one. So let's take a look at this compilation of right wing media figures losing their minds over something happening in a state that they probably don't even live in. Most fast food workers in California will be making 20 bucks an hour. That's the minimum wage for them starting today. Restaurant owners say the new law could result in price hikes and even job cuts. Encouraging people not to be great. You're saying, hey, drop out of high school and you're still gonna make good money. Yeah. There's a hidden cost to yeah. this, a message to kids that you know what, you're already getting a BS education to begin with, don't worry about it. Either the state will take care of you with free housing and food stamps, or we'll make sure that corp greedy corporate America pays you more money than you should be earning. Uh, so we're going to promote mediocrity in a nation that was built on, not, on, on the exact opposite. Here's the elephant in the room. Guess who's happy? The unions. All the, This is what's going to happen. These employees at these restaurants are going to be unionized. Guess what's going to happen? They're going to contribute money to the union. Guess who's going to get the money? The Democrats. This is the long run plan of trying to put more money in the Democratic Party's pocket. Wow, like I have to say, I'm even I'm shocked at how open and brazen some of those right wing media commentators and hosts are about their, I guess like how much they look down at fast food workers. 100%. They yeah. look down at them, so, that is, guys, that is such a hard job. That is not an easy job. Working in fast food is incredibly difficult. It is taxing to your body. Yeah. To your soul when you're dealing with customers all day long. I, looking down at workers, people who want to make an honest living and demanding that they get paid less for their work is just incredibly gross. Yeah, particularly for the uh, right wing populist network. They're not elitist at all. They just despise you if you don't, what, have the education that they've been telling you this whole time you shouldn't get. He's mad because like they might drop out of high school. But the second they graduate high school, he's been telling them not to go to college. So like what is your actual position on education and educational attainment? And like Jesse Waters saying like it doesn't what what are they really doing? You know what they're doing? They're feeding people in an incredibly convenient fashion. That's what they're doing. And they have always demonized fast food workers in particular, implying that the only people that would ever have these jobs are like, you know, it's like a first job. You're in high school or whatever, you do a few hours after you get out get out of school or something. They never actually explain who's supposed to make you the flay fish at noon. Who is working there during the day? These high schoolers? These are jobs that actual people have, sometimes more than one of those jobs. They're not all 16 years old. Fully grown people work at these jobs. Yeah. And they deserve to be paid. I'm I'm just so sick of the like, oh, these poor fast food companies that they might have to share some of their insane profits with the very people who are helping them generate those profits. I want to go to graphic three here. 
The Roosevelt Institute recently calculated that the 10 largest publicly traded fast food corporations spent $6.1 billion on share repurchases, that's stock buybacks last year. A sum significantly greater than the estimated 4.6 billion the California pay boost will cost annually. And so listen, I. I get, I actually understand what's motivating the commentary that we're hearing from people in conservative media. They might own shares for the Mm. stocks of these fast food companies. And you know, the share buybacks, the stock buybacks, real sweet in inflating the value of those shares, real sweet if the shareholders are looking for a nice return on their investment. Yeah. But that's an artificial way to increase the value of the shares. Typically, back in the day, the way the stocks would increase or the value of the shares would increase is through more people wanting to buy the product, right? The the company performing well. But instead, instead of doing that, now the focus has been corporate stock buybacks, yeah. which again artificially inflates the value of the shares. I just I can't stand the greed. I can't stand people looking down at workers I don't know about you, but I have a deep respect for everyone in this country who is earning an income through an honest day's work. And the fact that they're looking down at these people and yeah. demanding that they get paid less, even when they're not even living in the state, is again, yeah. incredibly gross. Yeah, I, as a person who worked in food service for many, many years, I have a great deal of respect for them. And hearing like a talking boat shoe like Jesse Waters smear them is just incredibly annoying. Thanks for watching the video guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member and members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence and that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the Young Turks.